Closed captioning is being brought to you by Carlson Print Group. Yeti's Ultimate Hunt is the first show of its kind dedicated to finding a cure for cancer by raising funds while enjoying the great outdoors. How is this possible? Take two world-renowned cancer research physicians, plus dedicated research scientists, all of whom work as a team to find a cure for cancer. Then, add an ensemble of outdoor TV personalities who typically battle each other for ratings and sponsorships on a daily basis. But, have all come together to support one cause, killing cancer. Hi, I'm Rob Evans. And I'm Michelle Eichler. And this is Yeti's Ultimate Hunt. Will Primos, a name synonymous with hunting and outdoor products. But what most people don't realize is Will's just a regular guy who grew up hunting and fishing his entire life. We did a story about Mossy Oak legend last season, Bob Dixon. But we felt that Will's friendship and story with Bob is both priceless and important. So thank you for watching and please donate by texting 4Cure to 50555. Visit our website, ultimatehunt.tv, and don't forget to like us on Facebook. We need your help. Intriguing hunters for many years has been the art of calling in wild game, mimicking or replicating those natural sounds and vocalizations made by animals. Today, one company continues to soar above their competition in learning to replicate, or as Primo's Hunting Calls likes to call it, speak the language. The success of Primo's Hunting Calls can be traced back to one man's vision many years ago. At the age of five, one could already see the passion in young Will's eyes. Will possessed the desire to craft out his first call, a duck call, and from those first efforts has today evolved to what is now heralded as the most accurate, most reliable call on the market, the legendary Primo's brand. But success hasn't always come easy. Hard work, many sacrifices, support, good employees, and great friends. When talking about great friends, one man continues to be remembered for his support and friendship to Will, Bob Dixon. Bob Dixon, one of the original Mossy Oak executives, was diagnosed with cancer in 1999 and was losing his battle with the deadly disease until he met Dr. Arnold S. Leonard in early 2002. Dr. Leonard's revolutionary treatments added almost 18 months to Dixon's life, valuable time that he spent with his family and friends in the outdoors. Uh, and those of you that don't know, the most special spirit that you would have ever met. I didn't realize his battle was going to be as hard as it was until well into it. And Bob was a great guy. And through this illness, you saw the testimony and witness that he was. He just found it too late. Although Bob lost his battle with cancer in 2003, Dixon's impact on his family, friends, will last forever. The longer He's been gone, the more I appreciate the person, the man, the special, special spirit he was, and that also people know. It's so important that people know that without Bob, there probably wouldn't be a Mossy Oak, and every time they see that logo, consider a tribute to him, please. When I was just a young boy, my father said to me, spend some time on my front porch, wonder you will see. So on a cold, crisp candy. morning in Iowa, he Mossy Oak's Bob I Dixon was on top of the world. Little did he know, there was a killer lurking in his body. I didn't think we had a chance this morning. We're sitting there watching that dog. Where did he come from? He just like came up out of a rabbit hole. I'm going to tell you whether it's a great big trophy buck or a lifetime or a little old doe back home. I'm a lucky man to be able to do this right here.
And when the evening sun Together, sets, as outdoorsmen, we will kill pray. cancer. Text and 4 cure to 50555 to make your $5 donation to ASL been. Cancer Research Fund. Don't worry, it's a Yeti. Yeti coolers are roto-molded. It's the same process used to make whitewater kayaks. Yeti coolers are tough. They're even certified grizzly proof. And with at least double the insulation, a Yeti cooler is also better at doing what a cooler is meant to do, keep things cold. Yeti coolers, wildly stronger, keep ice longer. History has shown that success breeds success. As the original scent control leader, Scentlock helps hunters improve success with products tested in the lab and proven in the field. So if you're a real whitetail freak, trust your skills, trust your instinct, and hunt with Scentlock. We place this tick on a pair of Elimitic pants. As you can see, he wants off. Elimitic is tick repelling camo clothing with insect shield technology a revolutionary process that fuses repellent to the fabric. It's odorless, EPA registered, and will last through 70 washings, the expected life of a garment. Elimitic flat out repels ticks. Help protect yourself from ticks that can cause debilitating Lyme disease. Wear Elimitic. More than the Trade Association for the Firearms Industry, the National Shooting Sports Foundation's mission is to promote, protect, and preserve hunting and the shooting sports. We promote participation, helping to bring more new people into the sport. We protect our sports from the field to Capitol Hill. We preserve hunting traditions and firearms freedoms for you and for future generations. Promote, protect, preserve. It's not just our mission, it's our passion. To find out more, visit nssf.org. Great achievements have a way of creating even greater expectation, like an uncompromisingly rugged hunting binocular built to defy the element. The all-new Pro Staff 7. It's what you'd expect from Nikon at a value that is unexpected. Sweet. That is sweet. I want one of these. Slay Custom Rifles support the ASL Cancer Research Fund. Order yours today. You can support the fight to cure cancer along with these supporting companies. Muzzy, Black Gold, Scentlock, Luminoc, Wild Ear, Gamehide, Nikon, National Shooting Sports Foundation, Outdoor Edge, Duluth Pack, American Classic Marine, Phantom Lures, Supercharged Scent Killer by Wildlife Research Center, Beyond 99%, and by Yeti Coolers. Wildly stronger, keep ice longer. You're watching Yeti's Ultimate Hunt, exclusively on the Sportsman's Channel. Meh. Ain't nothing finer than hunting mature bucks. You know it? It's just such an incredible moment when you, they show up. That is a big one. Dead gummit, man. If you were to ask any hunter who makes the best game calls, chances are you'll hear the name Primos. What all started from a gleam in the eye of a young boy who was fascinated with calling in ducks Primo's Hunting Calls has today grown into a major force in the hunting industry. Primo's Hunting Calls manufactures calls for elk, deer, turkey, predator, and waterfowl, as well as clothing and accessories. They also produce the ever-popular outdoor television series, Primo's Truth About Hunting, and the video series, The Truth. Even though Will, Primo's Hunting Calls, and The Truth have experienced the rewards and successes from hard work, they are no stranger to the impact and effects of cancer in their lives. After the passing of good friend Bob Dixon of Mossy Oak, Will offered to join the ranks of the elite 
and become an ASL Cancer Research Supporter and Baldy alumni in 2003. As a Baldy, Will would give up his hair in honor of his friend Bob and to the many others who have suffered from the results of cancer and also in hopes to help raise monies for cancer research in honor of losing his good friend, Bob Dixon. Part of what Primo does every year is uh, going a lot of elk hunting. We feel like that's a call business, it's passionate. The elk are a lot of fun to be around and we, can, we really are able to tell the story about the love of, of elk and wildlife through that process. And Bob always wanted to go elk hunting. And he'd been, I think, one time before, but he, he wanted to try to get an elk. And Dr. Leonard was helping Bob. He'd made tremendous strides, but it, it, we knew that it wasn't going to be a cure, that only God could cure him. Just to see him enjoy the moment and all the close calls he had. And it just seemed like it almost happened so many times, but never quite did. But it was wonderful being there with him and seeing him enjoy life and, and seeing him live life and, and talk about it. Talk about the fact that he knew that chances are he wasn't going to make it out of this illness that he was going to take him, that he was going to go to his reward, but to love life and to be thankful for it and to live each day like it was the most important day. If I had any hair, I'd pull it out. When the doctor actually sits you down and looks you in the eye, and you're a 44-year-old guy that's in excellent health, running five miles a day, uh, basically living a dream, and he tells you that you have cancer, there are not words to describe just the overwhelming feeling that that puts on you and, and your wife and your family. And uh, it's, uh, it's a terribly difficult thing. And I don't think it's anybody really understands unless it's somebody that has heard those same three words. One thing I'll tell you, after that hunt, he was sick and he's at home, he's in bed, and he's on tremendous painkillers to try to ease his pain. As he was taking those hard breaths and he'd come in and he'd see you. And he reached out to me when I walked in and started to sit down in that chair. And he could hardly talk. And he shook his head. And that was where his angel sat. Wow. Bob Dixon. He was a real testimony for the Lord. The ASL Cancer Research Fund needs your financial support in the fight to cure cancer. Log on to our website at ultimatehunt.tv, locate the donate button, and make your financial pledge today. Your donation will make a difference. Duluth Pack, 129 years of quality made in America. Outdoor and hunting gear that is backed with a lifetime guarantee. DuluthPack.com. Don't worry, it's a Yeti. Yeti coolers are roto-molded. It's the same process used to make whitewater kayaks. Yeti coolers are tough. They're even certified grizzly proof. And with at least double the insulation, a Yeti cooler is also better at doing what a cooler is meant to do, keep things cold. Yeti coolers, wildly stronger, keep ice longer. From the makers of Luminoc comes the incredible Luminaro. When you get that shot of a lifetime, you better be shooting the best that money can buy. Shoot the best and light it up. The incredible Luminaro, powered by Burt Coyote Luminoc. 
Hear like you've never heard before with Wilder Hearing Boosters. Hear up to five times better. Five times. Hear up to five times better. Hear distant bugles, gobbles, and calls. Hear approaching game before you see them. Before you see them. Wild Ears also protects your ears from gunshots. Yet they allow you to converse without removing. Wild Ears are custom fit for all day comfort. State of the art technology you won't, you won't believe. Learn more at wildear.com. Donations to the ASL Cancer Fund have been contributed by Outdoor Edge, the finest quality knives and tools for the big game hunter. This portion of the ultimate hunt is brought to you by Yeti Coolers. Wildly stronger, keep ice longer. For over a decade, Will Primos and his team have been harvesting Fair Chase, 100% wild game on TV and videos. The truth about hunting television series and DVDs are among the best in outdoor entertainment today. With no fancy editing, no big music, just good old fashioned down to earth hunting as it really happens. The desire and passion are evident in every minute of the truth series. As this same passion and desire is carried over into the manufacturing and perfecting of precision Primo's game calls. But the one thing that separates Primos from their competition is their continued faith and their remembrance of the ones that contributed to build the brand, like the friendship between Will and Bob Dixon of Mossy Oak. The friendship between Will and Bob goes back to the mid 80s and like a lot of best of friends, these two had the opportunity to share many days in the field, hunting together. However, in the fall of 2001, Will's life would be dramatically affected when he learned the news that his friend was diagnosed with stage four colon cancer. I got to know of, and then later got to know uh, Dr. Leonard, because a good friend that uh, worked for Mossy Oak, uh, Bob Dixon, who I met in the 80s when he was working at a sporting goods store in Birmingham, had gotten sick, he had colon cancer and it had metastasized to his liver. And the prognosis wasn't good. And Bob was a great guy. And through this illness, you saw the testimony and witness that he was, and his love of God and, and his Savior. And it just humbled you, and you just hated it, because you, it might be God's will, and you didn't, you prayed that it wasn't, and you prayed for God's will, but how do you help Bob? Because he had two beautiful children, Brayden and Will and Faye, his wife, and you just hated to see the possibilities that he might pass away from this horrible, horrible illness. And it was at the ATA show, Archer Trade Association show, and we heard about a guy that was there that was in cancer research and got word back that he would like to help Bob, and he said he could. Well, I can't remember now, but I want to say they'd give him a very short time to live. And Dr. Leonard said, I can, I can help him. I mean, Bob was to the point that I don't even think he could get on an airplane. Well, people all got together and they flew Bob to Minnesota. And lo and behold, I don't know how long now, but it was over a year that Bob was fixing to pass away and Dr. Leonard gave him, through his treatments, another shot at life. And Bob continued to be the incredible witness and to test, to be a testimony to his love of God. And it, it just was, it just was miraculous the work that Dr. Leonard did. And, and I talked to Doc about it and he said, I wish we could have gotten him earlier. You know, maybe we could have done more. Um, but Bob passed away and uh, whew, it's sad. It was really sad. And I hope that people will be drawn to help others and maybe help Dr. Leonard and his organization as they continue to search because there's many organizations out there looking and trying to find ways to help people um, through this horrible, horrible illness. Their friends in the industry, their parents, mamas and daddies of people I know in the industry who died of this horrible illness, colon cancer. And, Maybe through a little bit of help and research, we can do 
get a little bit closer to solving the riddle of why this cancer starts and um, maybe we can make a difference. Over the past decade and a half, Dr. Leonard's research has been devoted to cancer. And today, with the assistance of his colleague, Dr. Dan Saltzman, and the elite scientists at the Immunology and Biology Lab at the University of Minnesota, many exciting new approaches to preventing, diagnosing, and treating cancer are almost here. However, the research is not yet complete, and we need financial support from outdoorsmen and women, people just like you and me. And now, another important ASL research update from our own Dr. Dan. The following cancer research update is being brought to you by Mossy Oak. It's not a passion, it's an obsession. Hi, I'm Dr. Dan Saltzman. Cytokines are the signaling molecules that our bodies make to control the immune system. Interleukin-2, or IL-2, is a member of a family of molecules called cytokines. These molecules that interact with cells and cause them to change in some way. In the case of the immune system, cytokines cause the cells to multiply or die, become active or inactive, and in the way they control the body's immune response to diseases such as cancer. Cancer cells are mutated normal cells, and therefore the immune system sees them as non-self or foreign cells. If the immune cells are activated, they will eliminate these cancer cells. However, cancer cells have developed ways to avoid this elimination, and the tumor becomes an immune privileged site with few immune activating cytokines. Using bacteria to deliver immune activating cytokines to tumors was the initial idea behind the development of Salmonella IL-2. Over the last two decades, much has been discovered about cytokine control of the immune system and that knowledge is being brought to bear as additional cytokines and combinations of cytokines are tested in anti-cancer therapy. Your donations go to the front lines in our battle against cancer. Please give all you can and we thank you. I'm Dr. Dan Saltzman. I don't know anybody that hadn't been touched by cancer. And I know Dr. Leonard has devoted his life to trying to help others through his cancer research. And I know that he would appreciate you considering him when you think about giving so that he can help possibly find that cure that all of us would love to see him find. And I thank you. Together as outdoorsmen, we will kill cancer. Text 4CURE to 50555 to make your $5 donation to ASL Cancer Research Fund. Independent tests confirm that the pins on a black gold are 20% brighter than the next brightest bosite. So bright that we had to use photochromatic technology to dim the pins in bright light. In low light, while the pins on other bosites are growing dim, the pins on a black gold site are still perfectly bright. Be the last one out of the woods at night. Get a black gold sight. There was a time in America when you needed something that was built right here. It lasted for years and you could be proud of it. For five generations, our family business has built thousands of high quality boats right here in America. The American Classic 21 is built using modern composite technology with the heritage of old world craftsmanship. The ACM 21. Classic style, exceptional quality. See us at AmericanClassicMarine.com. Supporting the fight to cure cancer and Yeti's ultimate hunt are these fine sponsors. Muzzy, Black Gold, Scentlock, Luminoc, Wild Ear, Game Hide, Nikon, National Shooting Sports Foundation, Outdoor Edge, Duluth Pack, American Classic Marine, Phantom Lures, Supercharged Scent Killer by Wildlife Research Center, Beyond 99%, and by Yeti Coolers. Wildly stronger, keep ice longer. Please donate by texting 4CURE to 50555 
or you can visit our website at ultimatehunt.tv and of course, Facebook. We need your likes and your donations. We're having a lot of fun on Facebook and the ASL Army continues to grow. Yeti's Ultimate Hunt continues with more from Will Primos. I can't think of a hunt that leads to more anticipation, that's more fun to get prepared for than elk hunting. I mean, after all, you've been through a long, hot summer usually, and here you are getting to go to the cool, crisp mountains, and there you have high hopes of hearing a big bull bugle and possibly come to your call. For me, it represents all of that, but my wife, Mary, gets to go as well, and she's the caller. She's got a great ear, hears a whole lot better than I do, and she can put the little finesse on that cow call, and she's caught up a lot of bulls. On this hunt, we were in a fog. It was like something strange, like the clouds had just moved on top of us. So it kind of hit us, so we could get a lot closer than we normally would be able to in this open kind of country. And once we got there, the bull bugle, Mary, and our friend Mark Sabo backed up even further, about 150 yards. And when that bull thought those cows were leaving him, here he came. Mary. Uh, yeah, way to go. Oh, Good job, Thank you, baby. Thank you. Mm. Wow, that's fantastic. Mary, make sure you got, we have a great home. It's a great home life. She's, she's the rock behind it all. She makes sure that everybody's got what they need. Mary's a nurturer, and I can't do enough for her. If you'd like to help support the doctors in their fight to cure cancer, log on to our website at ultimatehunt.tv. There, you will find information and updates about the show and ways you can support and donate to the doctors and their research.